most people, if they've ever heard of Aruba, it's from the Beach Boys song. Um, Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I want to take it. But um, <laughs> Aruba is a desert island. So I can't tell you how many times people email me on mission, you are in Paris, you're so lucky. And I send them pictures. Look, this dirt road and these cactuses, like so many cacti, like everywhere. Like it's, I didn't think most people understood that um, the water is beautiful. It's clear. It's very nice. But there's also on the southern part of the island, there's a huge oil refinery. <laughs> so it's not that beautiful. The tourists don't go down that very much. And there's just, I mean, it's a desert island. The water is crystal clear. There's not like nice palm trees, but um, that's where the hotels are. They're right there in the beautiful spots, but um, there is like, it's desert. There's iguanas and it does not rain that much. <laughs> so it's very, I guess it, it's a little humid. It's actually most of Aruba is below sea level. And so it's kind of hilly. So I saw the ocean every day. I mean, Aruba's only 44 miles long. I biked the whole island for fun one PA. So um, you will see the ocean every day. Because Aruba has been semi-independent from the Netherlands for quite a while, um, I think about 30 years as well. Um, because of that, they have focused very much on tourism. That is one of their main ways of making money. So most people there, um, the natives speak Papiamento. Um, there's a lot of immigrants from other countries, such as Jamaica, um, Haiti, other Caribbean islands, um, Venezuela and Colombia. And so the Papiamento is the main language that they speak there. They teach Dutch in school still because they're semi-independent. Um, but a lot of there's a lot of Spanish because a lot of Latinos are there, but almost everyone there speaks English because they want to make money from the tourists. And so they've been trained They've been trained and so um, to be so kind to tourism. And so as a missionary, being American, they are so welcoming. They will welcome you in. They will sit you down. You're a stranger. They'll give you something to eat and something to drink. It's part of their culture. Um, and they make kind of interesting for missionary work because sometimes we'll like get let in very easily. Um, but most of the time, they don't even know why you're there. First, they just like let you in. <laughs> because it's part of their culture. Um, they are very, very kind. They're some of the kindest people I have ever met. And um, just being there, you will meet so many people from different countries. Um, the Netherlands, you'll meet people from Belgium. Just, it's such a mix. Um, just because there's so many languages spoke, spoken there, it's good education in the way that if you um, come from another Caribbean island, you can go to school in the Netherlands and get a good college degree. Um, there's a lot of members from Peru that are there. Um, as far as transportation goes, they have these small little buses that go from one end of the island to the other. And then they have these big, big blue buses that take you to different destinations. Um, they have different routes. About a fourth of the island is a national park. The iguana is the, I think it's the nation's mascot animal. And so you actually can't eat it anymore. Um, but it used to be what the natives ate a lot on Aruba. One thing that's Aruban culture is that they will take the al aloe plant, aloe vera plant, grows naturally on the island, I mean, you're in the desert. Um, and they will take it and they'll flip it upside down and they'll tie it and hang it above their doors and above dinner tables and it brings prosperity into the home. Um, a lot of food, most food um, comes from other countries just because they're so mixed together. Um, but something that you'll have on all three islands of Ruby, Bonaire, and Curacao, there's something called the Johnny Cake. You'll need to get those. It's like this fried dough, basically, that like melts in your mouth. And it has like, you put different things in it. Um, it's very, very good. And it's a dish that's very popular for breakfast. Um, there's also something called pastechis, and that is very similar, but it's more like, um, there's different dough used, there's different ingredients. Um, it's not, it's more like, um, probably like a Caribbean version of like probably Hot Pocket, but like actually made from scratch. They will have 
amazing English, you will be fooled thinking that they are American and then they'll speak three other languages. And because of that, sometimes you'll hear people talking and they'll switch between different languages while they are speaking to each other because oh, saying food in English is easier than saying food in Spanish for someone. So they'll switch into English just by their conversation. Hottest I think I ever got there was like 102 when I was there. Um, is like, doesn't get that cold. Um, common jobs, everyone, almost everyone works in hotels. So that makes it kind of difficult for missionary work many times because in hotels you only have one Sunday off a month. It's very difficult to come to church. Um, they try, but it's just, it is difficult. Um, tourism is the main way to make money. And so most tourist jobs have to be open on the weekends because that's when tourists are there. They're there for that Sunday. Um, I think a lot of people don't recognize that whenever they go on vacation. And that was something that hugely impacted um, us as missionaries, especially for scheduling an appointment when someone has, um, when they work like from all day from like 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. and they have one day off a week and that's the one day that they can pay bills. Most people used to work in the refinery. The refinery on Aruba um, has gone through many different companies. Um, it was shut down by Valero a few years ago and it just reopened. So a lot of people are excited because a lot of people went unemployed when it shut down. Um, when it first, finery first came to the island, there's only a couple thousand people on Aruba. And so they shipped and hired a whole bunch of people from the other Caribbean islands, such as Jamaica, um, St. Eustatius, um, Saba, and brought them over, English-speaking islands, to Aruba, which is why there is in Aruba an English-speaking branch in the southern part, right next to the refinery. Um, it's called San Nicolas. And so um, that is why, and so most people, even though the refinery shut down, they just stayed there. And so once the refinery was built, they just kept on working there. They just really never left. So a lot of people, even though they're born and raised in Aruba, on the southern part, a lot of them are, um, their ancestors are from other islands. And same with the northern part, a lot of their ancestors are from, um, most of them from South America. Um, they, there's some caves with the local Indians, but I, it was a couple, it's in the last hundred years, I think the first, the last Indian family actually died. Um, so there's not any actually like pure descendants. So as missionaries, they have one chapel and they do have a font there, but then on the other half on, in San Nicolas, there is not a chapel, and so they do baptisms at the beach. Um, so that's kind of nice. Most of the time, the baptisms, and if you do baptism at the beach, it's very early in the morning so that they're not packed by tourists when you go to do a baptism. So, um, yeah, I mean, just if you're going to Aruba, just get ready to every single person you talk to is probably going to speak a different language. and. Um, most time they all thought I was a Dutch person because I was a bit taller in my complexion. So Aruba, Aruba does have carnival as well. Um, all, most Caribbean islands do. Um, it's not as big as Trinidad. So there's only, when I was in Aruba, there's only like two days that we actually could not go out and work. Besides that, it was fine. In Aruba, in San Nicolas, the southern part of the island, on a clear day, you can actually see um, Venezuela. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, very clear day, you're able to see it. It's just super clear. Um, so keep your eye out if you're there. 